Hey everyone, I am here at the Museum Trail in Palm Springs, California. I'm going to show you what this hike is all about. It's about a two mile round trip. We're going to go up there, up to these picnic benches, get nice vista points of uh, Palm Springs, and then come on back down. So I'll show you what the trail is like, how to get up there, and uh, how to do it safely. Now it starts at the Palm Springs Art Museum. And you'll notice that there's no cars in the parking lot. That's because you're not allowed to park there. If you go to the website, I have a link to that if you're watching on YouTube, right underneath the video that has all the parking information. You can park right around the corner here. Um, but make sure you park in the right space. Don't get a ticket. Don't get your car broken into. Show up here at the trailhead, which is also the start of the famous Cactus to Clouds hike, which is the hike all the way to the top of San Jacinto. If you want to do that, that's not one you really just show up and do. You got to plan for it. You got to train. And I have a full guide for that on hikingguide.com too. If you just search for Cactus to Clouds, you'll find that. But otherwise, let's get on the trail and uh, head up on the museum trail. Right, so once you go up from the trailhead here, you're going to see some signs. There's some private property signs. And the beginning can be a little bit tricky because you're kind of weaving through um, some area bounded by private property. There you can see the signs. But if you just follow the directions here, you should be fine. You're going to come up shortly to this wall, and then you're going to cross over a driveway here. And the trail picks up on the other side. And at this point, you're pretty much free of the private property concerns. But... If you look up here, you can see how steep and rocky this hike really is. Now, the key to decoding this hike is to understand the white blazes. The white blazes are little trail marks um, spray painted on the rock that will help you figure out where the official trail is because there's kind of 15 million little paths here. There you see the white blaze. Essentially, you're going to follow those white blazes all the way up to the end of the hike. Now they've been put here by the local hiking club and you can see there's another one and you can see one up in the distance there's the golf club and palm springs but really you're going to follow these white blazes all the way up to the top and that's the key now i mentioned before it splits apart in some places but in general if you follow the white blazes you will get there fine now as you go up here you're going to come to this junction you actually have two choices here. You can go straight up on the normal trail or you can do the more difficult trail. I like to come down on the more difficult trail because it's a little bit shorter. But going up, I'm going to continue to follow these white blazes here and go up on the easier trail. Easier being relative, it's, um, it's still pretty hard here as we go uphill. You can see, kind of get an idea for the steepness and the rockiness of the trail here. At the sign, we're going to make the hard right here and continue on up. You do have a little bit of breather sections here in this park, but there's not a lot of them. There's some more white blazes as we go up here. More white blazes, you can get a good idea of the steepness here and how high you climb. The trail basically climbs right up the spine of the mountain for the most part, so it's, uh, you know, it's challenging. Now, at this point here, you can see there's this white spray-painted X in the arrow. We're going to make the hard right here and continue heading uphill. Now you're going to get a little breather here. It's really the only breather we have on this hike. It's a little downhill in this little section here. So we're going to go downhill a little bit. There's also a little trail sign on the ground here because it's sort of counterintuitive to go downhill and around again. More white dots. And then here you can see the intersection with the more difficult spur that went up earlier at that trail junction. And again, if you want to go down that way, you certainly can. That's easy enough. But otherwise, we're going to continue heading uphill here. And there's a little trail sign. There's some vistas as you go off here. But we're going to continue to head uphill. It's really all uphill um, until the end here. We're going to continue to head uphill following the white blazes. And we're going up there, up where that top of that hill is. Now at this point you can see the trail sort of splits. There's a lot of little shortcuts and cutoffs here. I recommend just taking the official white blaze trail so that you don't have too much impact on the landscape and also so you don't make it confusing for other hikers coming through here. We want to have the main trail be the most well-worn one. Nice thing is that if you get tired you can just turn around taking these beautiful beautiful views of Palm Springs as we go up here. 
keep following these white blazes eventually towards the top you're going to get a little bit of a breather it mellows out a little bit you can see there's a um, metal frame up there i don't know if that's an old sign or a horse hitch if you actually know what that was at one point please leave a, a comment and let me know but I, I don't know i wasn't around when that happened but we're going to go up straight here you can see it mellows out and eventually we're going to get um, up towards the picnic benches here So that's it. Once you get up to the picnic benches, you just relax, enjoy the view, turn around and go back down the way you came. And uh, yeah, it's always a little bit tougher than I, than I remember it when I'm in the middle of it. It's definitely a steep hike, even though it is short, it's definitely hard. So if you want to do it, once again, just go to hikingguy.com where I have all the parking information, all that fun stuff. If you're watching on YouTube, if you could do me a big favor and click the little thumbs up button, that'll help other people find this guide, know about the white blazes and how to do the hike safely and uh, have a good time without getting lost or hurt. Any questions, just leave them on the comments on YouTube and I'm pretty good at answering most of them, but otherwise go out and enjoy the trail.